Recording. So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. We invoke the Spirit of the Lord to be with us, to accompany us in this journey as we are about to celebrate the solemnity of the Pentecost. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Come and be with each one of us and inspire us to pray. Open our hearts and minds to welcome the good news of Christ that may be created and we may renew ourselves as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your son, so that your son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that he may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that, that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you because the words you gave to me, I have given to them and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. <clears throat> Do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me because they are yours and everything of mine is yours and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Praise o to Lord, you o Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So the Lord is risen, alleluia, alleluia. Truly is risen. Truly is risen. Alleluia. 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 For this evening, there are two considerations that touch me so much. The first part of the gospel and the last part. Let me start with the first part that says, Father, the hour has come. This is a very, very strong word for the Lord. Because when we say the hour, it's the kairos in Greek, and Kairos is the saving plan of God. It's the saving act of God. And therefore, when he prayed that this hour has come, he knows that the ultimate gift of salvation will be given to humanity as part of the will of the Father. And what is that? That he will suffer, he will die, but he will be resurrected. All the truth about Jesus. And all of these things, and the resurrection as well would be an act of the Father so that the Father will be glorified. And of course, lastly, his own affirmation of the disciples whom he had chosen in order to continue or propagate the mission and to spread the good news. So much so that this hour is now in the time of Jesus. It's different from Kronos. Kronos is just a succession of time. If this is 8 o'clock in the evening in the Philippines, the next would be 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, that's Kronos. But the Kairos is a very important word in the biblical language. It means God's saving grace is in you, is in me, is in all of us. The time of God is in you, is in me, is in all of us. For us to open our hearts and minds to accept the saving grace of God so that we accept this time of Jesus as a time of his salvific plan for each and every one of us. And like Jesus, that we may glorify the Father as well. 
Secondly, a very touching word would say or phrase would say, I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me because they are yours and everything of mine is yours and everything of yours is mine. I am so touched with these words of Jesus that it means he is praying for me, he is praying for you. If it's Jesus praying for me and for you, ah, what a beautiful language of love. What a special treasure. What an intimate relationship that he has for us. After all, we are his sons and daughters. After all, we are his brothers and sisters. After all, he has led us to the Father. And so Jesus, praying for this and saying this, he would refer to his disciples. who well, perhaps they have understood things, but he knew that his death would scatter them, that in their proclamation of the gospel, they will have hardships and difficulties. And Jesus was saying, I pray for you that you will not waver. I pray for you that you will remain in your faith. I pray for you that you have strength in the moments of adversity. I pray for you that you will remain steadfast in the many problems and difficulties, anxieties of life. And Jesus is doing that for the disciples and doing that one as well for us. Divine our human life, it's nice when we ask, please pray for me. And why do we say, please pray for me to that person? Because we know that person is good. We know that person will truly pray for us. We know that perhaps that person, once he prayed for us, his prayer or her prayer would be granted. And so that is a sign of friendship. That is a sign of brotherhood. I entrust my difficulty to you. And so please pray for me. But it's nice as well when in our own way we say, I pray for you. We are the one now approaching the person because we know his difficulty or her difficulty, her struggles and whatever she or she's experiencing in life. That's why you go to him or to her and say, I pray for you that God be your strength. I pray for you because the Lord loves you. I pray for you that the Lord will heal you. I pray for you. The greatest consolation of our life when somebody comes and say, I pray for you. That means he knows us, he knows our difficulties, he knows our struggles. And he or she as close to the Lord, she and he offers that prayer for us. I pray for you. But lastly, and the most beautiful is another than when the Lord says, I pray for you. I pray for them. Now it's the Lord praying. Now it's the Lord Jesus who has that intimate connectivity with the Father, praying for us because he knows where we are, praying because he knows our weakness, praying because he knows our hearts and thoughts, praying because he knows we might waver as well or doubt, praying because perhaps we are in turmoil, perhaps we are also in joy. But when Jesus says, I pray for you, I pray for them, that's the language of love of Jesus, language that is sown in our heart because he wanted us to be closer to the Father. And so let us open our life and remember always that wherever we are, whatever happens in life, someone is praying for us. We can ask their prayer, but ultimately the most important, the most beautiful, and the most convincing would be remember that Jesus is praying for you. Amen. Our prayer Amen. is, Lord, every hour. Lord, every, Lord hour. every hour. Is your hour. Is, is your, your hour. hour. Every moment is your moment. Every moment is your moment. Everything that's happening to me. Everything that is happening to me. Is in your hands. Is in your hands. Not anymore my story. Not, Not anymore my story. But your story in me. But your story in me. Lord, your kairos in me. Lord, your kairos in me. Is your saving plan. Is your saving plan. You know what's deep within my heart. You know what is within my heart. My struggles and joys. My struggles and joys. My difficulties and hopes. My difficulties and hopes. My doubts and faith. My doubts in faith. My strength and my weaknesses. 
My strength and my weaknesses. My darkness and my light. My dar darkness and my light. More importantly, O oh Lord. More importantly, O oh Lord. In those wavering moments. In those wavering moments. When struggles are just too much. When struggles, when struggles are just too much. And when life is burdensome. When life, when life is burdensome. You come, O oh Lord, in your time. You come, you come O oh Lord, in your time. And that's your perfect time, O oh Lord. And that's your perfect time, O oh Lord. Your salvific time for me. Your salvific time for me. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Thank you, O Lord. When I ask prayers from friends, when I ask for prayers from friends, they pray for me. They pray for me. But thank you still, Lord. But thank you still, Lord. That you inspire me to tell them. That you inspire me to tell them. And offer them my prayer. And offer them my prayer. As I say, I pray for you. As I say, As I, say I, pray I pray for you. But the most important, O oh Lord. But the, the most, most important, O oh Lord. I thank you for praying for me. I thank you for praying for me. For praying for, me. for, praying for us. For praying for, praying for us. us. More than enough. More, More than, than enough. enough. That these prayers of yours are answered. That these, these prayers, prayers of yours are answered. And our hopes are granted. And our, and our hopes are granted. are granted. Because you carry everything to the Father. Because you carry everything to the Father. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mary, Mother, of, Mother God, of God, pray, pray for, us, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our, our death. death. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Healer, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Augustine, pray for, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray, pray for us. Saint Hannibal, pray, pray for us. Send, O oh Lord, Saint holy apostles to your church. your church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the, the Father, Son, and the, and the Holy, Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So the Lord is praying for you. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Welcome po. Thank you, well, Father. Thank you. MJ, I was slapping kanina. Kasi you computerized by the prayer. I thought it's your prayer. I said, wow, ang galing ng prayer ni Tita MJ. Kasi nung, <laughs> nung nabasa ko lahat, nilagay mo, Father Daddy. O, oh, sabi ko, sana sa iyo na lang din. O, sabi ko, wow, galing. Very, very, very beautiful. <laughs> I, I was really laughing. <laughs> but it was nice. It was nice. I'm very nice, Father. Very, very nice. <laughs> I, wa I was complimenting you for the beautiful prayer that you have composed at temple by Father. <laughs> Amanda, that's prayer good. That's good. <laughs> so that means, that means, Father, your prayer is coming from the heart. Uh, and yes, I doubt it if you can even I, I doubt it if you can even repeat it because it's so spontaneous, right? It is so spontaneous coming from the heart. So, hey, kaya hindi mo na napansin na sa iyo pala yun. Hindi, <laughs> pero parang feeling ko nung una, parang may semblance. Pero sa'yo siguro you made some ano, revision. <laughs> but so I'm so honored. honored. <laughs> I'm so honored. <laughs> Tapagkamalan ako. 
<laughs> of course. Kasi sa kung galing naman ang mga reflections, prayer nila. Galing. <laughs> Kaya sabi ko, sa, I was so hoping as I said, wow, sana everyone would have their own prayer tapos si Pablis ba? Ito pala lahat. Atin yun, so atin. Fun. Ours, ours. <laughs> oh my God. That is wow. so, so funny. So continue your prayer. Take good care. Yeah. And Thank you very much, Father. Ko, God Robert, bless. Had published yeah. our mass for Saturday already. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, yeah, we will publish it. Huh? Apa, Thank you, Father. Nakapublish sa po, Tita, kay Tito. Thank you. Have uh-huh. a nice evening. Uh-huh. Thank bless. you very much, Father. Good night, Father. Good night, Father. Bye-bye po. Good night. Bye-bye po. Bye-bye of the meaning and reflection behind the priestly prayer of Christ. The prayer tells us that the moment of death is a moment of glory. Just as the Lord said that his moment of glory was when he died on the cross and fulfilled his mission as a son of God. We will only go back to the Father when we have accomplished the mission he has given us. From the very beginning, the Lord knew that he will entrust his mission to the community he formed, to the apostles and to us. And throughout our mission, may we have the strength, grace, and courage to transform the world. This is our mission, our prayer warning. Amen. Amen. Okay. When is that hour of which he speaks? First, this hour can be understood to be the same time, to be the time after his death, resurrection, and ascension to heaven. It is then when the Holy Spirit will come upon them at Pentecost to open their minds to understand all that he has taught, which with much greater insight and clarity. But in John's gospel, the hour is also a reference to his death on the cross. It is his hour of glory, the hour in which the Son of Man saves us through his holy passion. Therefore, this statement of Jesus should be read within the context of him alluding to his coming passion. We must recall that this sermon Jesus gave gives is part of his Last Supper discourse. It is given immediately prior to Jesus is going out to the Garden of Gethsemane to be arrested. When we consider this hour to be the passion and death of Jesus on the cross, we should be aware of the fact that his act of dying is not only a saving up of redemption, It is also one of the clearest ways in which he speaks about his father in heaven. Jesus' suffering and death does, in fact, reveal the father to the disciples in ways that his figures of speech could not reveal. Jesus' veiled language was spoken as truth, but as truth that could not be fully, fully communicated. However, Jesus is freely embraced suffering and death, thus clearly communicate the Father the most profound way possible. The cross is pure love and the Father is pure love. Jesus is death on the cross in obedience to the will of the Father, reveals all that the Father loves us so much that he was willing to sacrifice his only begotten son so that if we but believe in him, we will inherit eternal life. About the love of the Father. It's a teaching that took place through an act of the most pure and sacrificial love imaginable. The cross was Jesus is speaking clearly about the Father in so far as it reveals the depth of his of the father's love for all humanity if you find this difficult to understand then you are not alone 
the disciples themselves struggled with this. That is why they ultimately needed the Holy Spirit to come upon them to open the minds. We too need the Holy Spirit if the veil is to be lift, lifted and we are to comprehend this most powerful message of God's infinite love. Amen. Today's pointers on God's word. Number one, <clears throat> as the good shepherd, Jesus prayed to his father for the needs of his disciples, especially that they may gain eternal salvation. Number two, Jesus prayed to the father in very personal and intimate mm -hmm. ways. We too should pray with our hearts and not only with our lips and minds. This is so that we will be more receptive towards encountering our Lord in personal and intimate ways. Number three, in whatever we do, we should always try to be like Jesus. He constantly focuses his attention on living and serving for the greater glory of God. Amen. The three pointers. Thank you so much for your word. Thank you for your prayers for us. It's so consoling that your prayers for us will lead to our salvation, We lead to our deeper conversion, We lead to our being more close to you and to the Father. Please continue to pray for us, Lord, because we can do nothing without you. We are nothing without you. So we praise you, we thank you, we magnify your holy name. We magnify your name. Hallelujah, Lord, 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 Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We praise you. Lord Jesus, we magnify you. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, dear Jesus, for being with us. For praying for us. I praise your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you very much. Let our lives be continuous. Expression of our love and thank thankfulness for your goodness and your Mercy, Lord God. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name, in the intercession of Mama Mary. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Sir.